continuing further uh, let us examine uh, two points with respect to vector space that is basis and dimension of vector space uh, a basis for a vector space is a sequence of vectors having two properties that is the vectors are linearly independent and they span the entire vector space right uh, example uh, we can consider the standard basis for vector space r2 is 1 0 0 1 that is uh, uh, put up here it is 1 0 and 0 1 because they can uh, be used to get any uh, r2 uh, vector right uh, to uh, get a, a 2 cross 2 vector that is they span the entire uh, vector space r2 that is x and y vector space uh, x belonging to r y belonging to r uh, this column vectors uh, they span the entire uh, r2 space and they are linearly independent hence they form the basis for vector space r2 and here uh, the dimension of a vector space is the number of vectors in a basis for v is called the dimension of v and it is denoted by dim of v so uh, we can understand this concept with a problem that is there are three vectors given here 2 2 1 1 3 7 and 1 2 2 column vectors 2 2 1 1 3 7 and 1 2 2 when when they are put as matrix a uh, and then we go ahead and try to reduce it to echelon form we see uh, through row operations r2 dash is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 r3 dash is equal to r3 minus 2 r1 the matrix A gets converted to 1, 7, 2, 0, minus 11, minus 2, 0, minus 13, and minus 3. And now if I have to divide uh, row 2 by 11, then I have uh, the matrix 1, 7, 2, 0, minus 1, minus 2 by 11, 0, minus 13, minus 3. And again, if we have to do uh, another row operation, uh, that is R3 minus 13 R2, so to reduce it to echelon form, so we have the echelon form here that is 1 7 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 by 11 0 0 minus 7 by 11 so generally we have a tendency that when there is a fraction uh, it is a bit scary and we try to conclude that it there may be some slight some mistake no you don't have to worry on those grounds so you just go ahead with the procedure and if the steps and the process is correct uh, you don't have to worry about the values in the matrix right uh, and we see that this uh, matrix cannot be further reduced. Uh, hence, um, they are all the uh, the rank is equal to three and uh, is equal to number of vectors. Hence, we uh, call them as independent uh, vectors. And the dimension of the uh, basis, uh, hence they form the basis of the uh, given matrix. And uh, mm, sorry. Hence, they form the basis of the given vector space and the dimension of that um, basis is 3 because there are 3 column vectors uh, and uh, also to say that uh, they uh, have uh, they can be used to uh, combine or to obtain any uh, R3. So the uh, given mat uh, column vectors uh, can be used to uh, obtain any uh, R3, right? So that uh, pretty much uh, uh, defines the dimension and basis of uh, vector space. If the uh, hope the concept is clear to the viewers, if the concept is uh, not so clear, kindly view again. And if there are any specific uh, clarifications required, feel free to write in the comment boxes. We'll be happy to revert back on that. Continuing further, if we consider another problem where uh, x1, x2, x3, x4 are defined in terms of an independent variable t. So we have x1 is equal to 1 plus 4t minus 2t square plus t3 a t cube. We have x1 is equal to 1 plus 4t minus 2t square plus t cube and so on for uh, polynomials. Uh, then uh, we uh, can check if uh, check for the basis and dimension of this particular uh, system uh, or vector space uh, by converting this particular equations to uh, a matrix a column uh, column vectors from uh, the equations uh, 
so 1 minus 1 minus 5 5 4 9 6 7 minus 2 minus 2 0 5 minus 5 the corresponding coefficients have been kept here as column vectors 1 2 1 2 right so and if if I have to take uh, the x1 x2 x3 x4 as uh, the right hand side so here we have a matrix and then row operations corresponding row operations r2 dash is equal to r2 plus r1 r3 dash is equal to r3 plus phi r1 r4 dash is equal to r4 minus phi r1 uh, so we have 1 4 minus 2 1 so on and again if we do another two operations two row operations r3 dash is equal to r3 minus 2 r2 r4 dash is equal to r4 plus r2 that results in uh, uh, Ecleon form matrix 1 4 minus 2 1 0 13 minus 4 3 0 0 minus 2 0 so 0 0 1 0 so we have the rank of the matrix to be equal to uh, the number of columns and hence the uh, vectors column vectors form the basis And R4 dash, if we do another row operation, R4 dash is equal to 2 R4 plus R3, then the last row becomes 0 and hence the rank is uh, less than number of columns. Uh, hence, the rank is less than number of columns. Hence, we can say that the columns X1, X2, X3, X4 are not uh, independent uh, whereas the vectors x1 x2 x3 which contain the pivot elements are linearly independent and they form the basis for the given vector space w and the dimension of the basis is 3 so here uh, this is something which we need to keep in mind that if all the vectors are independent then there is no question of uh, checking any anything else uh, but if the vectors are in general dependent uh, then there may be column vectors amongst the vectors which will be mutually independent so that is the case here so I would request the viewers to check if the given vectors 1 3 5 and 2 6 10 are linearly dependent or not sorry uh, I would request the viewers to check if the uh, given vectors v1 and v2 form the basis in r3 space so just a hint so if one vector is a multiple uh, of another vector then they are not independent hence uh, we can straight away say that they do not form a basis but uh, the students are required to write their arguments properly so that uh, they get the uh, prescribed marks for that particular problem uh, and uh, here we come to conclusion of the concept uh, basis and dimension. Uh, hope uh, this is clear and in case uh, there is any doubts feel free to write in the comment box. We will be happy to clarify the same. Thank you. Meanwhile the viewers can try solving a 5 cross 5 matrix as shown on the slide. So I shall uh, show the solution for the same in the next video. Uh, but till then I would uh, want you to uh, continue from the point where it is left here so that will give you some of uh, some uh, practice time and also uh, a sort of uh, uh, work to do uh, till we uh, meet again through another video in the next session so happy learning and uh, thanks for watching and uh, uh, have a good time